So, so the causes of epilepsy, what we refer to as the epidemiology of epilepsy, is quite complex. And it's very disappointing for some patients because, of course, the most common cause for developing these recurring seizures is we don't know what the cause is. It's called idiopathic epilepsy. Uh, I often joke with patients, it's, uh, idiopathic means that your doctor is an idiot and pathetic because he can't figure out what's going on, but the vast preponderance of epilepsy is idiopathic. In children, it's very common to not have any specific known cause. There's no brain abnormality, there's no injury, the genetics of their brain are catching up, trying to grow and mature, and a lot of those forms of epilepsy actually are outgrown. They simply grow to an age where they stop occurring. Um, other forms of epilepsy are caused by damage, but the condition of epilepsy, this connection between one brain cell and a brain cell that's out of control, that's next to it, this process is microscopic. So 90% of MRIs that are obtained when somebody has a seizure are normal. 50% of EEGs that are done are normal. So this is very frustrating very frustrating for patients because we can't find an abnormality and we can't find a cause and but I often tell individuals well that's good first of all when neurologists find things in your brain that's usually not good stuff I mean aneurysms can cause uh, epilepsy brain tumors those are not good things to have and you want to avoid that if possible the other thing that's actually good about not finding things is that those people as a group are more likely to respond to therapy and remain seizure-free, and they're more likely to be the people who you, uh, a few years later can actually discontinue their medicines, stop taking medicines, and go back to the life that they had before.